Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the president and founder of Music Motivation. And every week I come out with a fun new cool song and cool exercise. It's part of my annual subscription from my website, and it's for piano teachers and piano students. I hope you enjoy this one. This is a Halloween fun cool song, and it's titled Dracula's Dance. Listen to this. I'm going to play it first at performance speed and then practice. Mm -hmm. Now it's a fun little piece, it's not too difficult, it's not too challenging, and we have three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. It's kind of minor, scary sounding, but it's fun to play along with those cool instruments. So now I'm going to play Dracula's Dance at practice speed, where we've cut it in half. This is about 65 beats per minute. Listen to this. Now, it's kind of fun to have all of these background instruments playing along with the students. And what I hear, the feedback that I get from so many piano teachers and piano students, is how much they enjoy having both the performance speed, where I play up to tempo, and then also the practice tempo, where the students can practice playing along. It's a great way for the students to play and then to also practice what they're going to play but they still get to play with all of those cool sounding instruments. So the students really enjoy it. The teachers love having it as a great resource for the students to play along with. And the parents love listening to their students play along with the minus tracks. So it's really a fun, fun activity for the students to do in their practice, practicing and in their lessons and for them to actually play with a band is what they're doing. They're playing with a cool band. So right now, I want to talk a little bit about the theory. We are playing in the key of C minor. We have three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And I wanted this to be a waltz because Dracula's dance. He needs to dance. And of course, I thought a waltz would be very fitting, dancing around. But a waltz, we need to be in 3-4 time signature. And we're breaking apart these chords. So I started with a G major chord. If you watch up here, we play a G major chord, and I broke it down with the right hand, breaking the chord apart. Then we went to the G minor chord, and I broke that G minor chord apart. Then we went to the F minor chord, and we broke that chord apart, but we came from the top coming down to the bottom. And I wanted the students to practice playing the chords broken. Now, in this piece, we're playing broken chords. That is what we are teaching and working on with the students. We're taking a chord and breaking it apart. And it's fun for the students to play along with that and then to understand the theory behind it. Maybe they can imagine and picture Dracula dancing around, surrounded by all these ghoulish characters, 
And for them, it's great because they start to see that dance and they can feel that dance and then they have all the background instruments playing along with them. Now, at the top of the paper, the PDF, it says, how would Count Dracula play this? And then it says, is he really even a count at all? Maybe, maybe not. Can you count the rhythm? And then it says, good questions. So I want the students to be able to count it out while they are playing or to count it separately without them playing along. But it's fun to have the students try that. Now, every week I come out with a cool song and also a cool exercise. Let me now play the cool exercise for this week. It is also in the key of C minor. Well, E flat major if you want to be technical. But since we have that minor sound, we are playing in the key of C minor. Three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat. And again, with this one, I wanted to break apart the chords and to have the students practice playing the pentascale that goes along with that specific chord. So as we play the G major, the G minor, and then the F minor chords, we are going to play the pentascale. That goes along with each of those chords. Let me now play for you the cool exercise for this week that goes along with the cool song. I hope you enjoy this. the cool exercise and it's at performance speed so I'm playing full tempo. Right now I'm going to play the same thing but I'm going to slow it way down and we're going to do practice speed. It's good to practice at the practice speed first before you actually try it at performance speed. Here it is. Now it's fun to practice it slower where you can practice doing those patterns. If you notice at the very first, the first line of that cool exercise, the right hand is just doing a pentascale. It's a G major pentascale. 
and then we do the G minor pentascale, and then we do the F minor pentascale. Now at the very end of the cool exercise, that last line, the hands actually switch roles and responsibilities, where the left hand begins doing that pentascale, and the right hand is playing the chord. So watch, I'll play that last line for you again. The entire piece was created to help students understand not only the key signature, we have three flats again, B flat, E flat, and A flat, to go along with Dracula's dance, but also to practice doing these third intervals. If you notice, and I'll start right here in measure five, this is what it has. Okay, look at that. I'll play it up here. Now, we are doing third intervals. Every finger is working hand in hand, pun intended, to try to get the fingers working together at the same time. Now, if you look at this, we are trying to keep that steady pace because we don't want the right hand to be faster than the left hand. We don't want the left hand to be faster than the right hand. We want both hands to be equally yoked, okay? Both hands need to work together as a team. That is what we are striving for, and we are hoping that they'll be able to go from the C minor pentascale position up to the F minor pentascale position, right there, and then G major and G minor as well. So it's helping the students really get the fingering, but also to be able to play in time with the cool instruments that you're backing. I hope you've enjoyed this fun, cool exercise and the cool song, Dracula's Dance. Each week I come out with a new cool song, cool exercise, and they're posted on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. You can also go to my website, musicmotivation.com. I have hundreds of free resources, video tutorials that I've created and put together. In addition to free PDF books, I have PDF downloads of original music I've composed and music I've arranged. I also have minus tracks students can play along with. And then all of my books from the Cool Songs for Cool Kids series, Cool Songs That Rock series, the Music Motivation series, all of my music books are available as sample PDF downloads that anyone can look through and play through some of the pieces from all of my books. So visit my website, musicmotivation.com. If you have any questions or if you'd like to contact me, please feel free to do so. If you have any suggestions for videos or ideas for cool songs or instruments you'd like to hear, let me know. I'd love to add them. The best way to reach me is with my email, Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N, at musicmotivation.com. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you next Friday. Hope you have fun this week as you practice these cool songs, cool exercises. Next week, I'll have a new cool song, new cool exercise for everyone who has signed up for the annual subscription. Please, if you feel like you'd like to film yourself playing any of the pieces and then share it on your YouTube page or any of your social sites, Facebook, Twitter, do so. I'd love to see what you are doing with this music. I'd love to have you play it film yourself playing it, and then share it with me. You can tag me in it if you want, but I would love to see what you're doing with the cool song and cool exercise that I come out with every week. Have a wonderful week. I will see you next Friday. Thank you.